Hello Java aspirants, this is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. As per high demand from many people, I am commencing the Java discussion from scratch. Let's keep networking in Java topic on the table today for discussion. Network programming means to write program that execute across multiple devices called computers in which the devices are all connected to each other using a network. There are three requirements to establish a network. Hardware that includes the computer, cable, modem, hubs, etc. Software that includes program to communicate between server and client. And protocols that represents a way to establish connection and help in sending and receiving data in a standard format. What is TCP IP protocol? A protocol represents a set of rules to be followed by every computer on the network. Protocol is useful to physically move data from one place to another place on network. TCP Transmission Control Protocol IP Internet Protocol is the standard protocol model used on any network including internet. TCP IP model has got the following five layers. Application layer, TCP, IP, data link layer and physical layer. Application layer. Application layer is the topmost layer of the TCP IP model that directly interacts with an application or data. This layer receives data from the application and formats the data. Then it sends that data to the next layer called TCP in the form of continuous stream of bytes. Next is TCP. After receiving data from application layer, it will divide into small segments called packets. A packet contains a group of bytes of data. These packets are then sent to next IP layer. Next is IP layer. IP layer inserts the packet into envelope called frames. Each frame contains a packet, the IP address of destination computer, the IP address of source computer and some additional bits useful in error detection and correction. These frames are then sent to the data link layer. Next is data link layer. Data link layer receives frame from the IP layer which dispatches them to correct destination computer on the network. Next is physical layer. This is a last layer which is called physical layer is used to physically transmit data on the network using the appropriate hardware. TCP IP takes care of number of bits sent and whether all the bits are received properly by the destination computer. So it is called connection oriented reliable protocol. Every transmitted bit is accountable in this protocol. Hence, this protocol is highly suitable for transporting data reliably on a network. Almost all the protocol on internet uses TCP IP model internally. There are some important terms which are using in networking. IP address to send data from one place to another. First of all, the computer should be correctly identified on the network. This is done with the help of IP address. An IP address is a unique identification number given to every computer on the network. It contains four integer numbers in the range of 0 to 255 and separated by a dot as 209.191 as 88.254. Next is DNS. For example, to open yahoo.com site, we can type the site address as www.yahoo.com or its IP address. But when we type the IP address in numeric form, that number is mapped to the website automatically. This mapping service is available on internet, which is called the DNS, Domain Naming Service. FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is useful to download or upload files from and to the server. Next is HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This protocol most widely used protocol on internet, which is used to transfer web pages .html from one computer to another computer on internet. Next is SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which is useful to send mails on network. Last is POP, Post Office Protocol, which is useful to receive mails into the mailboxes. Next is User Datagram Protocol, UDP, is another protocol that transfer data in a connectionless and unreliable manner. It will not check how many bits are sent or how many bits are actually received at the other side during transmission of data. 
there may be a loss of some bits hence udp is used to send images audio files and video files even if some bits are lost still the image or audio file can be composed with a slight variation that will not disturb the original image or audio socket socket provides the communication mechanism between two computers using tcp a client program creates a socket on its end of the communication and attempt to connect that socket to a server when the connection is made the server creates a socket object on its end of the communication the client and server can now communicate by writing to and reading from the socket the client in socket programming must know two informations ip address of the server and port number we should use a new port number for each new socket a socket at server side is called server socket and is created using server socket class in java a socket at client side is called socket and is created using socket class in java next is how to know the ip address of any website it is possible to know the ip address of a website on internet with the help of get by name method of init address class of java.net package the get by name method take host name server name and returns init address which is nothing but the ip address of that server next is url uniform resource locator which represents the address that is specified to access some information or resources on world wide web www let's take an example http dot slash slash www dot go for e learning dot com at backslash index dot html the URL contains four parts the protocol to use HTTP the server name or IP address of the server www dot go for e learning dot com the third part represents port number which is optional at the last part is the file name or directory name that is referred index dot html URL is represented by a class URL in java.net package to create an object to URL we can use the following format URL obj equal new URL parameters are string protocol string host init port and string path next is URL connection class URL connection class is useful to actually connect it to a website or resources on a network and get all the details of the website for example to know the details of www.yahoo.com we should pass the url to the object of the url class then using open connection method we should establish a contact with the site on the internet this method returns url connection object then using url connection class method we can display all the details of the website and also content of the web page whose name is given in url next is how to create a server that send data we can create a socket that can be used to connect a server and a client once the socket is created the server can send data to the client and the client can receive it all we have to do is to just send the data from server to the socket the socket will take care of whom to send data on the network steps to create a server that send string messages to the clients are at server side first we have to create a server socket with port number server socket sss equal new server socket at at now we should make the server wait till a client accept connection this is done by using accept method as socket s equal sss dot accept then attach output stream to the server socket using get output stream method this method returns output stream object this stream is used by the socket to send data to client as output stream obj equals s dot get output stream then take another stream like print stream to send data till the socket as print stream ps equal new print stream obj finally this print stream is used by the server to send data to the client after that to send data we have print or println method available in print stream as ps dot println str after this we have to close the connections this can be done by closing all the streams and socket at the server side sss dot close this will close server socket s dot close this will close socket ps dot close this will close print stream next is how to create a client that receives data 
we can write a client program that receives all the strings sent from the server. Let us follow these steps to do this. First, we should create a socket at client side using socket class as socket as equal new socket. Parameters are IP address and port number. Here, IP address represents the IP address of the server machine where server programmer is running which we discussed in last slide. In case you don't have your computer in a network, you have to run both the server and client program in the same system. In that case, you can use local host in place of IP address. The work local host represents that the server is also locally available in the same system. Then we should add input stream to the socket so that the socket will be available to receive the data on the input stream as input stream obj equal s dot get input stream. Then to read the data from the socket into the client, we can take the help of buffer reader as buffer reader br equal new buffer reader parameter new input stream reader obj. Now we can read data from the buffer reader object using read or read line methods. Read method can read a single character at a time whereas read line can read a string as str equal to br dot read line. Then we have to close the connection by closing all the streams and sockets as br dot close this will close the buffer reader and s dot close this will close the socket. So this is all about server and client. Now how to do two way communication between server and client? It is possible to send data from the server and receive the response from the client. Similarly, the client can also send and receive the data to and fro. For this purpose, we need additional streams both at server and client sites. For example, to receive data into the server, it is better idea to use buffer reader as input stream obj equal s dot get input stream. Then buffer reader br equal new buffer reader new input stream reader obj. Then read or read line method of buffer reader class can be used to read class to send data from the client. We can take the help of data output stream as output stream obj equal s dot get output stream. Then data output stream dos equal new data output stream obj. Then write bytes method of the data output stream can be used to send strings in form of group of bytes. So this is all about networking in Java. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in an easy way. You can send me an email for any query to my email id go for elearning at gmail.com. Thank you.